Go for it. Good evening, everyone. And we welcome you to Season 2 of The Rec League. Tonight, we'll begin our broadcast by discussing some detail on our setup this year in a segment we call The State of the League. On our cast tonight is myself, Ratty Z. Bicycle. Hi, what's up, guys? Darth Ted. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Enrage Overy. Hey, how's it going? Uh, tonight, Adumo will not be joining us because he's preparing for the first game of the night. So this season, we've added four more teams to the league, and with this, we have eight teams. And somehow, we had to figure out a way to balance them to provide the highest quality and fair experience to our players. Basically, would you give us some insight into how these teams have been balanced this year? Yeah, so um, when we went through the teams, when we went through all the applications, uh, we did our best to check your rank and talk to the references, the people you know inside the league, and we made a decision to give everyone like a number based off these factors. And then we built an algorithm to essentially make eight balanced team based off these numbers. Uh, so uh, basically, like if, if, uh, if it's unbalanced, we apologize, but like we did the best we can. <laughs> it's right doing the best we can and with that we did have four teams added in the previous year we did have our four elemental drakes as our teams that we used but we added four more so why don't you uh tell us a little bit more about why we chose the names we did and yeah so i in league of legends there's always characters that don't quite get the spotlight but they can find it here in the rect league that's right. Some of the sickest neutral minions that make up the most ferocious jungle jungle experience in the League of Legends. <laughs> That's right. So, with these eight teams, uh, Darth Ted, why don't you tell me about these teams and how they're going to be interacting this season in our league? So, this is actually a huge dilemma for us after Season 1. We were really debating whether we should change the format from best of two to either best of threes or best of ones. And we ended up deciding to stick with best of twos for a couple of reasons. The first reason being each night there are always going to be two games. And since we're doing a round robin, it allows for people to basically be able to play each other twice, but also doesn't have the season being 16 weeks long. It's only going to be a seven week season with those two extra weeks for uh, makeup games. It was very good. Yeah, it was kind of a balancing act between do people really want to stay around and play for three hours versus two, and uh, yeah. It also just helps with scheduling, because I mean, if you're trying to do back-to-back -back, uh, games, it's a little bit easier to manage two games than as opposed to three and have people kind of waiting around. Um, and then, yeah, it gives teams a chance to adapt, which is important. Very good. Thank you guys for the information, and we hope it does provide the best experience with a good uh, attitude towards league and life balance. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on. <laughs> so, so guys, we've been watching, uh, hopefully we've all been watching the NALCS, the League Championship Series, and we've noticed that this year these games have been going on longer than previous seasons. So, basically, what insight can you give us about the shift in the metagame going on this year that are leading these longer games? Um... So I, I have like an eight-pronged attack about the current meta about hyper carries, and we're, we're going to go over it briefly. So the first thing that was messed up from Season 6 was Targons, and they fixed that really quickly, which is nice. Uh, the second thing is Stopwatch uh, slash Free Boots going at the same time, and that as well has been more or less totally fixed. There's not too many issues with it. Uh, another thing that allows the hyper carry meta to succeed is Spellbook, which was also fixed. Uh, and then all the rest of these things are issues that still need to be fixed, in my opinion. Uh, the support items, basically getting a 12-minute uh, Targons is just not... Uh, or sorry, a 12-minute uh, Night Spell is kind of OP. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, furthermore, Assassin characters are pretty much in the gutter, especially with Stopwatch. It's hard to play Assassins in the meta. Uh, that makes hyper carries more vi uh, viable because they just don't get targeted as hard. Uh, and then a th the sixth thing is the mage items. Uh, basically, mage itemization, which is getting changed a lot soon, so it's coming. Uh, itemizes so that they can't just insta burst people. They have to build resistances or they'll just die. Uh, so it it is a big bit of an issue. There are exceptions clearly. Um, and then the last thing is. Probably the biggest. Uh, in the last three years, there have been 
more characters than I care to count that have gotten immunities. Uh, Galio, Tarek, Tom Kench, Kendrick Bard, and then other champions like Kled, Camille, Zaya, Kane, Echo, Callista all have spot uh, invulnerabilities. So there's a lot more invulnerabilities coming out in the league, which makes a lot more live Lord champs, and this is a lot more living than there used to be. <laughs> I gotcha. So it gives them time for those hyper carriers to step up and carry the game Correct. for their teams. Yes. All right. So then with that in mind, what do you guys think the power picks are going to be? There's been a lot of changes to the league and we're on playing on patch 8.3, if I recall. So what, what are we looking for this week? So I guess we'll go uh, top to bottom. That probably makes the most sense. In the top lane, the strongest three picks we've seen so far in the LCS have been, well, the number one is Gangplank, and his number one counter is Gnar, just because you get the range to hit the barrels, and you can push him in and stop him from farming well. But Gangplank's going to outscale that matchup. And the third one we usually see is Camille. And uh, I'm not sure if anybody is really practiced on those champions, but we should really expect to see some of those coming out to Tonight. Yeah, I expect to see some Gangplank, or at least Gangplank bans coming out uh, in the league, because I know the league does have some Gangplank players. So, what do you think strong in the jungle? Uh, I think right now in the jungle, the three main picks are Sejuani. Sejuani did receive a nerf in 8.3, which is just a little extra cooldown on her dash, which hurts a little bit. Um, basically, instead of getting it maybe twice in a team fight, uh, you're pretty much only going to get it once. Um, I think that the way to kind of adapt around that is to probably like make, instead of it being a one point wonder, you can probably see junglers put a second point into it at some point. Um, but then Zach is also probably one of the top picks, basically anything that can kind of start the fights and be the engage as we were kind of talking for talking about is uh, making room for these hyper carries. Uh, and just kind of being the peel for them. And then on that note, uh, Kha'Zix kind of being the hyper carry uh, from the jungle. One thing I'm interested in is last uh, last season, for those of you tuning in, you know Malzahar had a big impact on our league. What are we looking at for the mid laners? Um, I think I think one of the biggest mid laners, I mean Malzahar is still around. They, they nerfed him a little, they nerfed his ultimate, but he's still pretty ridiculous and a really good team fighter. Uh, but I think Zoe and Azir are both going to be huge picks, and we'll see how uh, Swain comes up, too, in the meta. I gotcha. And then are we looking at anything specific in the bot lane that's going to round out these compositions or anything people should be afraid of? We were talking about hyper carries. What do you think? Yeah, uh, Kogma, 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 that champion can... Uh... Yeah, Kogma, Varus, and Vayne all seem really strong right now. Jinx especially really strong. Tristana is ludicrous, so... Yeah. I well, definitely very good. Think... Oh, please continue. Uh, I definitely think, think we're going to see more tanky supports coming out just to support that hyper carry style rather than the pokey supports you'll see. I mean, maybe there will be a Lulu for the shielding if you have a Kogma on the team, but a lot of it's going to be Alistar for the engage or Tarek for the peel and the... Uh, you know, invulnerability ultimate. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of double tanks in the support and jungle role, and then kind of leaving the three lanes as carries. It sounds like it's going to be a good matchup. So ultimately what it's come down to is what the teams practiced and what we're going to see this week. And speaking of this week's games, this first week is going to be at 6 p.m. We're going to be broadcasting Team Scuttlecrab versus Team Mountain Drake. At 8 p.m., there's me Team Ocean Drake versus Red Brambleback. Air Drake and Gromp will be playing at 8 p.m., but they may not be shown depending on the length of the games, as Ocean Drake and Brambleback will be the one we're broadcasting. This week, Team Infernal Drake and Blue Sentinel will not be playing due to some scheduling conflicts, conflicts so there will be a makeup game later. But unless you guys, do you guys have anything else to talk about tonight? No, I think that covers it for the State of the League, so uh, we'll take a five-minute break and come back at you with uh, Team Mountain versus Team Scuttle. Ten-minute break. 
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Wrecked League opener. All right. Uh, first off, we got Team Scuttlecraft versus Team Mountain Drake. I'm here with Enraged Ovary. We're going to be casting this game. Let's uh, go. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are you what are you thinking about this matchup? What do you what do you see? Do you see anything right. like off the bat just on paper about these two teams? Um. So right off the bat, I mean, there's some kind of very the power lies in the mid lane and probably the bot lane for team mountain drake and then for team scuttlecrab they kind of have a little bit more spread out power um i don't know me uh, as many of the players on team scuttle drake personally scuttle drake know... <laughs> scuttle drake yeah you know the scuttle drake uh, on scuttlecrab personally but um having played against endo and knowing adolma and yeah, I think those are the only two players I know. I know that those two are very strong players and play off each other really well. So I'm looking to see a lot of their, I guess, supposed uh, top jungle synergy hype. Yeah, it should be good. I totally, totally agree. It could, uh, could be, it could mean problems for my boy, for uh, Tom Nom Noms. For Tom, there. for Tom. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll see. Um, so we have a video. So one of these teams actually sent in a trash talk video. So uh, let me play that for you guys right now. That's because scuttle crabs are OP. <gasps> All right, and we're back. <laughs> Some quality <laughs> trash talk there coming out of Team Scuttle Crab. Real spicy. <laughs> like to see that coming out. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm interested to see how this mid lane matchup goes. Yeah, um, I mean, from last season, Gulen was, uh, I mean, MVP of the finals and just was an absolute, absolute monster in the yeah. mid lane. We're going to have to um, see uh, how, he, how he can do with the uh, uh, different Team Mountain Drake. Yeah, and I just want to see if Aether Fox can really just kind of absorb and just hopefully just either go even uh, with him, because I don't think that that's really going to be a lane that Endo's going to be focusing too much on. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. I, uh, as well, I, I think, I think that's going to be a lane where they're kind of have to, going to have to minimize their losses, but we'll see, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, maybe they have a totally different strategy lined up. Yeah. Speaking of strategies, I have one question for you. Yeah. Are we going to see the Garen? I, I want to see the Garen. <laughs> I want to see the Garen. So for the viewers who are not aware, uh, Tom Nom Noms is potentially the biggest one trick in the entire league. He is a one trick Garen player through and through. Uh, and so in all of season one, it was banned in every single game. He never got a chance to play it. Um, so we'll see. But I've heard some smack from Adolmo saying he doesn't care about the Garen, that he doesn't mind it. He can deal with it, but I would love to see it. I'd like to see some people spinning around. Um, but that's in the top lane. Another big question mark is Danny Taco in the jungle. Um, last season he was playing support and transitioned over to jungle. Um, from looking at his match history, I haven't played any games with him recently. It looks like he's been playing uh, like Jack, some Rek'Sai, Udyr, uh, Warwick. And uh, it'll be interesting to kind of just see how that transition pans out from support to jungle. Yeah, and for sure. And how he kind of stacks up to Endo, who was, I think, without debate, the best jungler last season. Yeah, and I think we should be heading into Champ Select right now. So here we go, right. ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Team Mountain is on the left and has the first ban. They're taking Vladimir right off the table. Get that out of here. Yeah, Adoma should not be allowed to play that champion from the finals. His team was losing, but he was winning big time. Oh, yeah. yeah he, he, was making, he was making the flash <laughs> plays, like, ooh, big mechanics. Corky taken yep. out from Gulen. That's a good move as well. He carries hard on that champion. Yep. And I'm interested to see if we're going to see the Anivia ban. Um, I'd assume the okay, so that's targeting Aether Fox. Yep. Apparently, Aether Fox uh, has a good Syndra. Plays, has a good Syndra, and I know also plays Anivia, but 
Yeah, I wonder if he'll break the bird out, give Gulen a taste of the old bird special. Yeah, or do they even bother trying to leave it up or risk it getting picked away right. from them? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we're not seeing any Garen. We're not seeing the Garen. No Garen shenanigans. Uh, no, I think I think that's a response ban for the Vladimir. I would have been curious to see uh, um, if they ban the Vladimir later, if we wouldn't have seen a Garen ban. But... Mm -hmm. And then the Ari ban. So two mid lane bans coming out uh, from Infernal. Yeah, wow. Two mid lane bans. Or Team Mountain, pardon me. Um, that, maybe that's saying that we're not scared of anything else you have to throw at us, you know? Like, play, play any champions. Right, so I'm interested to see what... Uh... Scuttle Crab's gonna prioritize. Are they gonna try and Oh they insta lock the Swain? Let's, Let's go! Hell yeah, that's what I want. Oh to see. man. <laughs> it's not that, the card we were thinking of. That was like... probably not what anyone thought was coming out of that. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. I I don't think I could have predicted the first pick swain in a million years. Okay, so if we see this first pick swain, what are you expecting to be kind of which lane do you expect it to go into? Um I I'm definitely thinking it's a mid lane. Mid lane swain. swain. As far as I know, Tom Nom Noms does not play this character. I know Gulen has been putting in the hours. He's been putting in the work on that champion all week. Ooh. So, uh, Ooh, the Endo Jarvan. And, uh, the famous Endo Jarvan. What, oh. is he like 20-0 and 0 on that champion at this uh, point? He's, he's I don't, I don't think he, me with it. Yeah, I don't think they dropped the game last season when he uh, no. had Jarvan. I could be wrong. But, that stat might also, not be accurate. Also, can we get excited about this York pick? Yeah, this the York, York pick, pick, the split push for every York pick is yeah. it's going to be hard to deal with. Yeah, um, seeing uh, Tristana for Sonic. I don't recall. I don't remember him playing Tristana last season, but Tristana's a great pickup yeah, right Tristana. now. Oh, also the and the tear. It's a smart move. Yep. So this is right now. Ooh, and the Anivia. All right. So yeah, uh, putting Aether Fox on Anivia. Um, I think that's pretty good for him. I think he's gonna be happy with that. I think that that's probably almost better for him uh, to kind of just survive than maybe the Ari or Cinder would have been if he's just trying to absorb pressure from Gulen. Yeah. And then new bands. I like that Anivia pick. I think that's, like, huge. I think that's I a really good pick for them. All right. Targeting Dainty Taco now. Taking away the Warwick. Taking away the Warwick from the... Yep, from the Taco, from the jungler. From the Taco. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out the Vayne, taking out the Ziggy's Vayne, that's a reasonable choice as well. Although I think Tristana is particularly good into Vayne, so I don't know if I would have been about that. But All right, so what do we think is going to come out from Tom in the top lane? Um, well, and then we also got, the jungle. Ooh. The jungle's a big question mark. Yep. Zach, st Zach is still on the table. Zach. I would expect Zach to probably be picked. Um, Take out the Soraka. None of that. It's a good move. Yeah. The Teemo ban also targeted at Tom, so they're not being fooled by this Swain pick. They're, they know it's a Swain middle, or they think it's a Swain middle. The Jinx for Ziggy's, that's uh, another crazy hyper carry. Mm -hmm. Alright, and let's see what Team Mountain has lined up. So far, I think Team Scuttle has the vastly superior team comp. How would you like to see it rounded out? Uh, I think... I don't... Yeah, I Ooh, think the Zach, the Zach is a good pickup. Crazy hyper carry or crazy hyper tank, I suppose. Yeah. I I guess I guess I'd like to see something like I don't I don't know, uh Maokai, maybe? For okay. the, or or even a, a Trundle would be really good, I think, here. Maokai or Trundle, Trundle would both be pretty good in New York, I imagine. Yeah. Trundle Trundle it Trundle is it. cool. So That's a good move. Right now we have kind of like a five man. Oh, I guess Trundle can kind of match the split push of York, kind of. But I... what Zach does, what Zach does really well is going to be able to force these fights. Um, yeah. If when, can... when York's when York's off split pushing, he's going to be able to really hard engage with the Zach and Tarek uh, on the uh, four man split push. Yeah. I. Yeah, I, I like the Nami pick here, too. I think the Nami pick is going to be huge to disengage the sack. Uh, just see him jump in on your carry. Just throw the wave at him. Mm -hmm. um, but if he if that doesn't work out, if that mechanic doesn't occur, then, yeah, this Jinx could be in trouble. Zach is a very strong pick at, against Jinx. Especially paired with Tarek. Uh, uh, if, I think. It, unless he changes it, it looks like uh, Tom Nom Noms is going with the Ignite Trundle. So he is, he is in there uh, to win lane. He could be using Summer Spellbook. Oh, so, he could be using Summoner Spellbook. This is true. Yep. So, but Tom's special, usually taking Ignite Top. Yep, the Tom's special. Who knows special, if he's, true. we'll see if he's, the, uh, if he's adapting to the meta yeah. with the Summoner Spellbook or just being Tom. 
for sure, for sure. We'll have to we'll have to see. All right, as the timer clocks down, we are now into the spectator delay. So for those new joining the league, uh, we have to sit a three minute delay timer uh, before we can actually view the game. Uh, we are not LCS here. Um, so do you got any other comments on these matchups? I think this is pretty reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's going to be, yeah. I think, I think it'll be interesting. I don't know how the Trundle York matchup plays. Yeah, out. I don't know how that. Oh, it looks yeah. like Trundle did switch to TP, so that's smart. It's good okay. move. And then I think the I think Swain is an intra. I think I feel like the Indivia is a strong pick into Swain. I feel like the Swain will not be able to bully anywhere near as well as he needs to to take over that lane. No, and I think that Gulen really does need to dominate that lane and really come out with a huge lead to uh, to help his team out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think the bot lane will be in great shape. I think they'll be able to. I think Sonic will be able to absorb. Yeah. Uh, let's and uh, let's take a look at the direct matchups here. Yeah. So Tom Nom Nom's in the top lane uh, versus Adulma in the top lane. Dainty Taco versus Endo in the jungle. Uh, Gulen versus Aether Fox in mid lane. Sonic M A versus Ziggy's in the bot lane. And Floppy Dingus versus X Itachi Uchiha. X Itachi Uchiha, I got you. There you go, thank you. X, there's yeah. an X at the end, I think. Unless, no, no, no. unless you don't yeah. pronounce, yeah. pronounce that one. That's, that's a silent X. It's a silent X. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh... Yeah, these well, portraits looking good, upgrading from last season. <laughs> yep. Uh, I really I really think uh, Sonic m a has a sincerely good Lee Sin cosplay going there. I think that's pretty legendary. I'm pretty jealous of that. Put it on loan to me. Uh, and this is a good time to shamelessly plug. Uh, follow the Rec League on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're also on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sorry, give us we'll give us your love on Twitch as well, please. And yep. if you're a player in the league and you don't want this stupid question mark photo, be sure to send in uh, your <laughs> pictures. Okay. Yep. That information should all be on Facebook about how to do that. Uh, Just send it into the email, the rec league. Yep. Uh, and... At Gmail. But yeah. And show please, us some love and we'll show you some love. Please do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just please fucking do it. <laughs> I guess it's not that hard. <laughs> so we got 20 seconds um, until yeah. we're in game. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, that Draven picture from Gulen. <laughs> it's a phenomenal, really, phenomenal it's stash. Pretty fierce, especially against the unknown Aether Fox. I think the matchup's definitely swayed. Yeah, it's face. definitely stacked in Gulen's favor just off pictures. But I, if, that, if, you, if that's how we're going, a duel has got a clear edge, and so does uh, the bot lane. <laughs> we'll have to see if uh, causation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, do you man. know Team Optic one? <laughs> I didn't check. Yeah. I have no idea. Are they still undefeated? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, um, the general manager of Team Optic liked one of the Rec League's Instagram posts and then proceeded to win their next LCS game. So, which prompted me to create another Instagram post uh, explaining this causation to them, saying that they should probably follow and like us uh, because if so, they'll probably win most of their games, which then in turn got another like from him. So right now we're... <laughs> I think we're we on the officially, chase. <laughs> officially, I can say that uh, the Rec League uh, is our big fans of Team Optic. Yep. That's our official stance. Official stance is Optic fans. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just about loaded up. I'm waiting for the spectator bug to stop being a spectator bug, and then we'll get right everybody right in the game. All right. Taking a quick look at some of the keystones. Um, anything that jumps out to you? Uh, comment on uh, the Swain. Is pretty much the only thing that seems a little bit out of the ordinary, but maybe it's not out of the ordinary. He hasn't been out for that long. Um, it'll be interesting to just kind of see how he they want to play him. Yeah, it'll be interesting. The Comet Swain. Um... What else do we got? Alright, so in the top lane we have double grasp of the undying. Yep. Aftershock for Jax with an electrocute on the Jarvan. Now, I think that probably means we're gonna see a warrior Jarvan instead of a Cinderhulk Jarvan. Mm -hmm. Um Let's see. Double Comet mid lane, double fleet foot bot lane. 
and then Guardian for the Tarek. And uh, Ares for the Nami. I mean, every it's all pretty standard. I don't think there's any huge, like, crazy... No, nothing's too outlandish um, here. Yeah. And uh, kind of seeing where the words are coming out, it looks like everyone's kind of playing a safe start. Uh, getting the word on uh, the race pit, but I don't think that's going to really spot a whole lot. Um, we'll see if Zach try and goes for his uh, second clear on uh, Raptors. Just give them a little more information. Yeah. Tom's dancing in the lane. Doing his thing. Yeah, that ward uh, at the Wraith is probably going to run out, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Got the nice red buff start on this side of the map. And on the other side, yep. we got the uh, nice blue buff start. Let's go take a look at the lanes. All right. We got some dancing and some emotes in the top lane. Ooh. <laughs> That's the traditional trundle skin, right? The OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Very cool. It's classic. He That's bought it. Classic. He bought it before the character was cool. <laughs> he bought bought the character, the champion, before the champion was cool. And uh, we have York just digging some graves. You know, York things. Yep. Trading a little bit of trading up there, putting out some damage. The mid lane. Playing, playing just, some juicy riffs with that guitar. We got uh, two stopwatches on Team Mountain. And no stopwatches on Team Scuttle. Yep. And the bot lane, um, some hardy trading. Um, yeah, some hardy trading going back and forth. Nami kind of able to neutralize some of that damage right now. And this lane's going to be... Ooh. Endo going in for the invade. Catching the Zac. Flash burn from Zac. Uh, and Trundle's collapsing, but I think that the Endo's going to get out of there just fine. And the bot lane may have a fight as well. And I think this is going to put Zac really far behind. I mean, that's kind of the play right now when you have a Zac. Zac's early clear isn't the greatest. Um, yeah, so if you so can kind of get in... Get in there early, you can uh, get the nice invade. Yeah, you can put them pretty far behind. Yeah. So we see Endo kind of just counter jungling a little bit, looking topside. But uh, just laying down a little bit of vision, trying to help his team. Yep. And going for that back now. And this Swain's just pushed up. Um, I don't think he's too worried about being punished right now with uh, sidestepping that. Ooh, a good a good shotgun cue from the Swain. I yep. will say, I will say the Swain is probably my favorite rework they've done just because he's got a shotgun ability, and yep. I think that is the coolest ability. In the bot lane, we have almost exactly even CS. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but the, is, yeah, the, kinda... the top lane CS discrepancy is starting to grow. I mean, in your experience from playing ADC, how do you see this lane playing, or how would you be playing this lane from either side? Um, it's hard. If the Taric ever lands a good Jinx stun and the Tristana is able to dodge the bubble, they should win the fight pretty hands down. Um, and from the other side, if the Tristana ever drops her E without putting it on Jinx, uh, the, the Jinx and the Nami should be able to engage so that bubble missed right there so so yeah they're looking for the stun. There, there, there should be a stun. there should be an immediate the second that stun lands there should be an immediate w from the tristana right onto that jinx and that that's a that's a lot of damage that's a one trade and the stun hits there and so is Ooh, the nailing the w yeah, so so that's that's what you don't want to have happen you can't no. uh you can't reset that trade and let the bubble come back up no and the terrorist running low on man so these trades are going to kind of the Zax here has two levels in the E, but I don't, I don't think that's that not going to be has quite the range. Yeah, uh, you need the third range. Once you have the third rank of the Zac E, you, you have some pretty crazy. You can range. go the distance. Yeah, you can go the distance. But he might be able to actually make this play here mid. Definitely possible, especially if uh, Aether Fox pushes up too much. But there is a ward in the uh, uh, line bush, so they will have some knowledge of it. 
Mm. Endo looking for the gank. Oh. Oh. oh, hits the coming blast code, and I don't—they don't have any ideas there. This could be really bad. Let's see the uh, engage coming from Nami. All right, the the Tristana bomb got dropped down. At the same time, Zach's been spotted on that ward, yeah. and there's somewhere pinging it out. Yep. I think uh -oh. he's just gonna uh -oh. this push. Uh oh. Oh, the slowness. Good flash. Oh, that's good a flash. very good flash. Dodges all three CCs. That's miscommunication from oh. from Team Scuttle, but very well played with that flash from Dingus. Uh, in the top lane, we, we have the start of the split push. The York yep. ult is, oh, 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 Night Killer by oh. Trundle. Taking the tower aggro. I think, I think Trundle wins this pretty hands down. If he can, if he can get, oh, he doesn't he's have the not, mana. mana. No. Oh, so that's why you pick the Trundle into the York because you can, uh, as long as you dodge the wall, you can pretty much get right onto him. But the, the problem here is the CS. It's not looking too hot. No, uh, he's getting a huge advantage. Um, yeah. This York is going to come back very buff. He's going to yeah, be just, a very buff He's person. coming back right now. He's going to be buff, and he's going to be just pushing in his face. Yeah. And this is going to be hard. This is and, exactly how the York plays. And on the <laughs> other side of this, this is exactly how we thought this matchup was going to go. The mid lane is also uh, just about the same. I think he just stopped his base with his uh, W. Yeah, that was really yeah, good. Yeah, he did. That was clean. That was clean. Uh, the Trundle should be TPing back up the top lane momentarily after he figures out what to buy. Just buy Talking a little bit more about Swain and that uh, and that ability, his W, um, which provides vision and damage. So kind of like a slow and damage and like a... How, what, what, what kind of raise? Like half a screen or so? Uh, let's... Can we check on the Spectre? No, it doesn't look good. Uh, oh, oh, geez. Oh, Flash coming in from uh, Aetherfox. Oh, a very, very good uh, hourglass there. I don't know if this is going to be enough, though. Oh, That's he way. could have a lot of damage here. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 God. yeah. So much damage. Get away from him, man. If he, had, if, he had, if he had the mana for that Q, yeah, if he had that Q mana on that gank, that was a very dead Jarvan. Yeah, but that's what I like to see. I like to see some moves being made and burning the flash on Ghoulin is yep. going to prompt Endo to come back. Yeah, but they also got the Anivia flash there, so it ho did. hopefully it can go both ways. Yep. Absolutely. Something to notice. Zach's still level 4. Um, really falling pretty far behind to this Jarvan. Really kind of needs that extra level, if not being six at this point, to make an impact in the lanes. There it is, seeing level five now. Yeah. But J4 should be probably getting level six. Um, let's say on his next camp. And the question is, where is he going to bring that level six? Is he going to bring it for that swing? Oh, gank mid lane. Yep. There's a good try there from the, yeah. the Taka. Aether, Aether Fox. Dodging it out. But props to him. This Swain hasn't fought. Oh, Swain. Swain Zach on the roam. Looking for this dragon play, maybe. Looking for that juicy ocean drake. Yeah. Love me some of that ocean drake. <laughs> gotta, gotta love the ocean drake. Oh, oh, oh big team fight here. Oh. Yep. But in the top lane, they get the they get both Jane ultimates. Still staying on the dragon, but falling pretty low. Oh, oh, Sonic MNA diving in, getting the Terrico popped. Is he going down? Oh, he died Terrico before. Oh. Going over to oh no, an absolute disaster. Yep. Meanwhile, oh, is he gonna come up? Oh, he almost could have come up and gotten smite off, and that's gonna be triple. Oh, oh but Swain gets the ocean over the wall. All right. I mean, if you're gonna lose four kills because Trundle also died top lane. You might as well pick up an Ocean Drake for your trouble. Holy Toledo. Wow. That was a team fight. Yeah, that exploded. So yeah, that escalated really quickly. Um, Great stuff coming out of uh, Endo and, I mean, Jinx. Jinx made some big plays there. Yep. Really able to kind of like kite back and uh, deal the damage that needed to be done. Yep. But also, uh, Anivia being able to kind of absorb some of the damage from Swain and then yep. go into the resurrection passive. The, there we go. Yeah, and Sonic uh, died there with his flash up. Oh, and yeah, he just used it bot lane, actually. Yep. Damn. One. So he's looking up big. Hell yeah. Yeah, 3 0 and 1 <laughs> Jinx here. It's going to be really gonna hard be, to deal with. That's going to be really hard to deal with.
yeah, this is a uh, this is looking like a very strong team scuttle crab. That was a very good, well played team fight in the dragon. I think it was uh, also a misplay from uh, Team Mountain. Uh, yeah, I think so that they... Sonic M and A could have dodged two. I believe the the Jarvan knockup and the Nami bubble. Uh, I just think it's a if he had committed with his flash. Hmm. Instead, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, continue. Sorry. No, it's okay. It, it steady didn't, and then the Terracult didn't come down in time, so. Mm. Miscommunication, I think, on both of those players. Yeah, and on that side note, it's just also kind of a bold move going in there with the Zac being so far behind. Um, Zac fell basically to one, like, a quarter HP in that, uh, yeah. just from the dragon just alone. Just the dragon. He never and, turned. And didn't even have ult yet, so the impact yeah. he was going to have was going to be minimal. Ooh. Cool, and getting the pull and dealing with damage, pulling things. a lot of damage. Of oh, path. Taco looking for this jump up the wall. Is he going to get it? No. Just no. missed it. So he's dodging it out. Yeah. The boots. The boots. It's a big deal. Yeah. Uh, York is in there taking a blue buff right now for himself. Yeah, he is. Saying, thank you very much. That'll, that'll <laughs> be mine. Oh! oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, team. <laughs> we missed that kill. <laughs> Reminder that we are not perfect at doing the camera. <laughs> we're working we are on not it. not pros, but we're working on it. So yeah, now a big siege coming down mid lane. Um, getting the pick on to Jinx. Ooh, almost another pick right there on the uh, Nami. Missed it probably by like a couple of units. That uh, Tarek's done would have been a death. And Tarek ult up. I would like to see maybe proactive dive. Yeah, they right now they, they know that. Anivia's bot lane, but Anivia's rooming up. Oh, uh, they're gonna get it there this time. Flash There's the pull in. into the queue. Yeah, there that guy's. He, oh, but the hot in there. A oh. little bit late on that. But I think this should be another kill picked up. Yeah, there for the is. Swain. This Swain is getting very charged up. The... This is a very charged up Swain. Mm. And great ult from the Zag, bringing uh. Bring that Jarvan uh, into the party. Into his Able death. Of, yeah, into the shotgun range. <laughs> yeah, right into the, the shotgun queue. Right in the face. And I think that Swain should be able to hold this against the Jinx. Oh, catching him with the pole. Dealing some damage with that. Flash gun. Oh, my goodness. Stalling out. Oh, my gosh. Looking like a monster. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this, is... this Swain pick is doing work right now. This Swain pick is doing work. And Gulen just popped off, doing exactly what he needs to do for his team. But look at top lane. Yeah, uh, this top lane is a big problem still. Uh, York is just a beast. And, oh, but the Gulen roaming over with the oh. with the roam. And now Tom Num Num should be ultra tanky with that ultimate going. Yeah, he that's that's just go. a very, very dead York. Uh, yeah, but they're going to push minion out, mid, uh, mid lane out because of it. Yeah, I think the York's going to start um, needing to group or may start pushing a different lane. Um, yeah, I mean. The, or just lay down some vision. I think I think they just need to be aware of that rotation. That that's a team thing right there. Yeah. And that that puts the trundle really back in the game. He can go back. Uh, it looks like he's spear visage first item. I would have gotten a team at to help clear the waves against the Yorick. Mm -hmm. uh, but he'll finish up his spirit and then we'll see what else he decides to build in. Uh, this mm -hmm. Nami is in the wrong hood. <laughs> <laughs> and she knows it, so she's yep, getting wrong hood. <laughs> when you're in the wrong wrong hood, get out of that hood. No questions asked. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Smountain picks up the Rift Herald after like a pretty, I mean, they're still down gold, but this Swain is is just an absolute monster. If they can catch this guy. Yeah, clearing out some problems. Oh, there the Tristana used their jump already. Oh, oh but the... oh, but the flash out from the Jarvan, leaving them all trapped in the pit. Oh, that's looking like a big reset, but the. Jinx rockets already been used, so there's definitely no follow up there. No follow up. Um, they're looking to siege this mid tower, and York's going back top lane, trying to continue to get his split on. He's gonna really start applying the pressure around the map again. Yeah. But what a play from Endo, flashing out, trapping in three of them, but falling so low, but not quite. Oh, but oh. getting caught out on this. Is he gonna go down? He's out. I think you know, if I think if the Tristana had R autoed on that last auto instead of just autoing. That would have been a dead Jarvan. Yeah. Uh, Tom Nums has a lot of gold in the pocket. About 1,200, so you should finish up that Spirit Visage. Yep, there it is. 
And this mid tower is just going to go down undefended. Yeah. Uh, You're not if Gulen has anything to say about it. Nah. This way, this way wants it. New, uh, new, the new Drake is the air Drake. Yorick getting bullied out by this Trundle a bit now. Now that the uh, Trundle has managed to pick up the Spear Visage, he's kind of like pretty unkillable. Yeah. Oh, I say that, and he gets whacked. You say that Big Q. The, yeah. Triforce has... on Yorick is monstrous. Yeah. Going for the solo kill, and if he doesn't, he doesn't get pushed out of the lane. This tower is going down either way. Yeah. But Tom getting pretty close to being able to duel a Dolma, maybe. Yeah, I think I. It's hard because he he can duel him, but he has to get the right fight, and he's not getting it. He has to he has to get the wall out, uh, before he can really get that fight done. Uh, Team Mountain picks up the second trick of the game. Yep. It's an, an air drake, so still useful, but probably not as useful as the stats for them. Yeah, and I guess keeping a dolma in this top lane is allowing them to yeah. kind of force these objectives. There's um, there's like 5k of global gold sitting on the table for Team Scuttle to get that uh, team. Oh, sorry, for Team Mountain to get that Team Scuttle is already utilized. So mm -hmm. they're they're a long way behind, but only because of that. Only because of that that uh, gold lead that. Scuttle picked up through towers. So if they can ever start getting these towers, this gold lead will get equalized very quickly. Kind of backing. And just like looking at some of this vision. Um, it seems like Scuttler has quite a bit of vision. Yeah, that's not so many deep words, but they've got their, their own jungle pretty protected. Yeah. I'd say. The, the, river is, the river is very warded right now. It is. It's good to see some wards coming out. Wards win games. Wards do indeed win games. And uh, Endo's being found oh. out here in the jungle. Oh. Yep. He and just used his dash down. too. He just used his flash and drag. Flash and, down. flash and drag. Flash and drag. It should be up no yet. Flash. Oh, and the Dainty Taco Holding misses on his the ult. R. Ouch. And Endo's out. Endo's out. That was a precarious situation. Yeah. But he made it. He made it. He's all the better for it. Yeah. Okay, and Tom using the Rift Herald uh, in the bot lane. Probably bot was about lane. to run out, but I, I don't think he can even do anything with this. I think the York will just Maybe do a monster fight? He really... He really... Uh, a big, big monster fight. Big monster fight. Yeah, no, got, got some pets. Got some pets here. <laughs> Looks like Tom Nom Nom's gonna win hey, that one. But, uh, yeah, he, Tom, they both ulted. Oh, he gets caught in that wall. That's not good. Oh, come on, Rift Herald. He's Herald, gotta take the wall out. Why the fight not hit the wall? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with Tristana rotating down, York backs it up. Backs it up. Yep. Backs it up. Making some room for this Herald. Maybe he'll get one charge onto the tower. Um, at least get a little bit of damage onto there. They really need to start grouping and applying pressure to allow this Tristan to kind of shred some of the standing gold towers. Yeah. They're not they're not getting their moments. They're trying in bot lane right now. No, nah, I mean I think they're just allowing it to get off one hit and then yeah. backing away. Yeah, it had low health, so it uh, probably didn't do super amount of damage and something to know aether yeah, fox is half. keeping up reasonably well with this swain at least in terms of cs yeah and not dying um really i would say outperforming uh kind of i think what uh team infernal or team mountain drake sorry uh was kind of expecting yeah for sure Ooh, the seafood mommy is nice it's nice, right? <laughs> yeah, I I can't say I have played too much against York, but I think that I would not have first had any Spirit Visage in this matchup. No, I don't think so either. I probably would have just gone for the Hydro. I think that's probably the move. Oh, oh, uh, the Zach is oh, here. Oh, Zach's coming here. But did not is not gonna get the auto off. Ineffectual gank. Ineffectual. 
but just having him here at least allows or doesn't allow the York to be taking these towers because York, given like about I don't know 10 seconds will take that tower down yeah York alt getting uh deleted and it's kind of oh, staying around getting, a little getting, bit greedy. Yeah, this is a little greedy. Without his ultimate, let's see. Oh, he gets pulled out of that. Let's nice see. pull by the Zac, but Flash Oh, the Zac, the, the Trundle ult just being used. He should Flash for the skew. Oh, he didn't even need to. Oh, and in the mid the lane. Oh, but the Baron being taken on the other side of the map, but executed. Going back to bot lane. Double Flash coming out. For, so big oh, no. miscommunication here. Oh, no. I think they still got him, but. Oh, they, they've got him. But that was not too what you wanted. That was, that was two flashes too many. You did not. I probably didn't need either. But. Definitely didn't need to. Yeah. And on the I other side of the map. Yeah. The, the uh, Nami getting taken down by Baron. Not very decisive, I guess, on the call. And just, I guess, miscommunication. Or just misjudging yeah. what could be done. And allowing uh, Team Moundrake to kind of take that mid tower. Yeah. Free. To get, really to get back in the game as well. Yeah. Uh, a good flash from Endo, though. That nice. would have yep. been his death. So. That long range comment from the Swain W. It hurts. Yeah, it do it does a lot of damage, and you don't max it either. That is that is the silly thing. Uh, yep. I guess he has three points in it or two points in it, so it's a little maxed. But, um, yeah, that move is pretty pretty silly. Um, it's hard to land. That's the the thing that people don't really see is that it's it's very hard to land. I hope your can or uh, Trinal can get this tower, but it doesn't look like they are. Applying pressure, Nivia coming down, which means that the three are spotted, but I don't think anyone's in position to really catch anyone. Yeah, out. I don't think they have any ways to get wards in there. But the the Infernal Drake is coming up right now, so that's oh Ocean Drake. Ocean Drake. Uh, my apologies. Yep. My spe right. spectator client is a little bugged there, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, mine is too. Burning and, it down. Yeah, they just took uh, it. Instant yeah. take. Um, I, the York is... Or sorry, the Trundle is going for the... Um, but I think that Tarek and Tristan are going to be able to take this top tower. Yeah. If given the time. If given the time, but they could get... Collapse, yeah, I think they're moving too slow on this. Trundle right, has TP. Skirmish. Okay. Looks like the support is in the bot lane. Oh, the top lane. This this is a flashless Jarvan. He should be probably yep, very good. Oh, nice good flash. flash. Yep, good flash. Flash auto. And then the TP coming in from the York. So they are not in the right hood right now. They need to no. call their TPs right now, or they're gonna die. Like they they really Dang their fire. team needs the TP. What is going on here? Popping the oh. That was oh, good miracle. Good, good, miracle. good. Yeah, well played, but but again, they didn't call in their TPs. I don't. They're just gonna run no. for their lives, and hopefully, more than one of them gets out. The Tristana looks okay where she is, but the uh, York should not be so. Oh, uh, the the oh. will it save? No, it'll buy some time for at least Ooh. the Swain to get it, and Zach coming in, grabbing, the, missing the Q. Oh Army. man, Sonic, Sonic man. <laughs> Sonic coming MMA again. coming up big again. Yeah, this is the this is a aggressive this team out. This is the story of Sonic Man. Sonic yeah. Man. <laughs> Sonic Man. Sonic <laughs> MNA. Sonic MNA. It's Sonic Man. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic Man will go even in lane. He doesn't always come out with like a kill, but then somehow will just always pop off in that. He pops game. off. Yeah, I think he's popped off in most of his games so far. I, um. No. Every game? An absolute monster. I, I'd say so. An absolute oh. monster. Oh! Pulling in the jinx. Oh, the wave. Oh. See, I was telling about that earlier. The wave yeah. to... Are we going to get the clap? All right, get yeah, the clap. Yeah, this is, this is the absolute... Clap too late. It's the clapping by Scuttler. It's the real... <laughs> the yeah. scuttle clapping. <laughs> and I think that should clear him up for Baron. I don't think anyone can really... Uh, call it the slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nothing really to be done here. Tarek kind of just waiting in the wings. Uh, Trundle coming over. Um, I don't. I don't think they should even try. They should be just. No. Oh, maybe they no. pick up this going on. Yeah. Very, very helping. Very close, but no, no sir. No. The Trundle at least. Trundle is just the uh, the Tarek never got his W oh, onto the Trundle focus. there. 
And the Baron should be going down. They don't yep. have Smite, but yep, they pick it up anyhow. And the uh, Tarek dies for his troubles. So, okay, so Mountain equalized all that gold uh, mm -hmm. from the turrets, but then they just force-fed the other team Baron in five kills, so they went right back down that gold. <laughs> The moves are being made. Mistakes are being made. Yep. I mean, I'd rather see Those that than, than a nothing game. I like this right. game. This is a good I game like... so far. Yeah. I mean, it's League of Legends. It's first game of the season. Let's go. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I think that, honestly, this is still anyone's game, especially if we kind of see the same mistakes that Skull Crab keeps making. Um, mainly around vision or lack thereof. I'm really, I'm, I'm also really excited to see how this uh, Swain pick changes the, uh, um, pick, pick bands. Cause I, don't, I don't think, I don't think Scuttler was ready for this at all. I don't. No, I don't think so either. But getting to this point in the game, how do you think that Swain really plays out? Yeah, honestly, I've seen Swain a few times in late games, and he's disgusting. This character is, he... is is very over tuned for oh, <laughs> for late nice games. Nice catch. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was mentioning before is does Team Scuttlecrab kind of just keeps on getting caught out, either placing down vision, being solo, um, which is not what they need to be doing. Right yeah. now they need to be grouping. As if they want to have a split pusher, have a split pusher, but be grouped Tom, as four. Tom just Tom needs to not not he need, he needs to get a freaking offensive item. He's just this York yeah, is just laughing at him. Yeah, he's tickling him. I I don't know. Uh, he can't even kill the minions. <laughs> yeah, he can't even kill the minions. This 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 York ult is actually just gonna kill him. <laughs> I don't. But I mean, I don't know but what I mean, to say here. I mean, I, maybe the strategy is he takes longer to kill, so maybe it takes more of York's time, so maybe the rest of their team can engage and if, make plays. If if this Trundle had a Hydra and was life stealing off all these big minion lines that uh, York has been throwing at him, he would be unkillable. There, were, there is. You would just. York would not be able to come close to him. He would just life steal forever. I am. But I am thoroughly they're dealing disappointed. Dealing with the cards with which they have. I am dis. dis yeah, I'm disappointed in this this build, from this trundle. All right. The official Rexley stance. <laughs> it's Icicly's <laughs> official stance. You can leave it at that. I don't know about the the whole Rect League, but. Oh, oh, and Nami again, getting Nami getting caught, caught in the exact same location. Trist has a jump, so yep. she should be okay. Uh, Jake's trying to kite this out, get, doing some damage, but... Oh, back, onto the back oh. line this Zack goes, and is that... Yes, that's oh. a huge pull. Oh, that is a huge God. pull. Coming up big. Sonic MA is Not, just in the mix right yeah. now. That was a really big Zack play. That was... And that can... That do. <laughs> that, oh. Yeah. Keep... Tell, tell Mom to get the camera, because that one's going on the highlight reel. Oh, oh yeah. Someone got an A+, plus, put it on the fridge. <laughs> and uh, Air Drake coming up. That Team Mountain should take easily with ease. So Team Mountain Drake, I mean, from last season, they replaced two players. But they're still coming out big. Yeah, they're coming out huge. I I think, no, I, I don't think people are understanding oh. what this uh, what this swing can do. No. Ooh, that support getting awfully low there. Awfully chunked down. It's really anyone's game at this point. I would say that... Yeah, I think that right now, Team Skullcrab is going to be having some hard times, I guess, engaging the fights that they want. They should really be focusing on the split push win condition and having. Yeah, they they engaged. need the split push win condition to win, but uh, yeah, the the trundle really. It's 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 within the trundle's item build to not allow that win condition to occur, and at least he has the ice form. That's that's some good wave clear. Uh, it helps with the wave clear anyhow. <laughs> it's wave clear. Yeah, it's wave clear. Um, it will also yeah. it'll help the help him stick on the orc, I suppose. Not that yeah. Trundle needs too much help with that. Trundle's a pretty sticky character. Mm -hmm. And the Nami needs to, I guess, do two things. Not get caught, and also act as the disengage for the Zack. Yeah, so the Nami, can... yeah, she's been playing very aggressively. She's died at the beginning of the last, both of the last team fights. Mm -hmm. 
Um, needs to needs to sit in the back line a little more, for sure. Yep, stay in the back line and just kind of play it safe and just kind of allow to be or be that disengaged so that York can be yeah. that monster. Be, be the disengaged that you want to see in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is not where you want to be. That's a dead Jarvan. If he ults, he should ult. Oh. Oh wow, the heal coming out saving him. Clutch but the, bubble. Yeah, oh, that was a very good bubble. Wasn't, yeah, but not quite enough. Yep. The Swain coming in there able to get the pull on him. Yep, and flash burn from the Nami. But meanwhile, yeah, so so this is what I'm saying. Like this should not be allowed. You should if you're Trundle and you have a Hydra right now, this does not happen. This, you just clear all those minions and the Yorick has to run. Right. And but, now he disengages it, runs away, gets out fine, but top lane. Miss Zach coming out. Miss Zach combo. Yep. Uh, yo, that Terracon is Eric not going to And now oh. Ziggy's uh, with the reset on this oh, Jinx. No. Throwing the rocket. Miss with oh, the rocket. Oh, nice flash. Good flash. Yeah, good flash from Sonic. Uh, I was watching the uh, inhib battle down here. Oh, okay. So this is, this is uh, really what uh, team... Uh, Team Scuttle we're looking for is they just right. want to do this and I the itemization coming from the Trundle is, is really allowing them to do it. It's it's pretty pretty disheartening. Right, I, think I think that Trundle see... No, doesn't go down. Oh, that's but gonna be it. The York going down. Picks up the kill in the York, but he gets the inhib, so he did his job. He did his part. Yeah. And it affords them some time to at least get some vision down, clear out some vision around the Baron pit, which is gonna be coming up in twenty seconds. Yeah. So now the York's plan is a uh... go to top lane and do the exact same thing because this yeah. York because this Trundle build is terrible. I I don't know what to say. So I guess this is going to become a little bit more of an issue with Baron being up. If the York does just stay in top lane and they want to try and do a one four, they're going to run into issues with that. Uh, just because I think that Meow Drake will be able to just take that Baron right away. So it'll be interesting to see what they want to do, or if they even want to try and fight this, which I don't think that they see that they do. Both the 80 carries, uh, looking pretty monstrous. Having yeah. four item 80 carries. Yep. I... It's, nice to see, it's nice to see them uh, kind of balancing out, uh, both popping off oh, a little bit. Oh my goodness, that could be a longsword. That could be the start of the Hydra for, <laughs> for uh, Tom Nom Noms here. It could be a lot of things. I, if it's not, if it, I mean, if it's a Bork, that that could be okay too. But it could be a, it, it, it could the, be a Steric's gauge. The issue is not killing the York. The issue is clearing the waves and not letting the Orcs destroy towers. So right. If you go Bork, oh oh man, I would have absolutely dove right there if I was playing that Tristana. <laughs> oh man, Ooh, that was, that was juicy. Onto... Ooh, Sonic playing up though. Yeah, he's 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 playing aggressive, but he's got the he's got the Terracode, he's got the uh, locket, he's got the redemption. Yeah, the Batman, they're just running it mid. They don't have the Knight's Vow. They do have the TP from. Ooh, the Tristana Swain. might be getting caught out. No, I guess they're not gonna. They do have the TP from Swain. Swain's just down there clearing the minion line. Yeah. And that's not what you want to see. Swain is the uh -oh, one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They need this TP now. This TP's got to come down. Yep. But he doesn't Sonic. have anything to TP to. And now Sonic is in real trouble in the back line. Away from his Terek. There we go. York taking out the Tristana. Yeah. Teleport coming oh, in. Terek and... coming down as well, but a little bit too late. Ooh, this, this Swain ult could be huge or could just not work. He's doing monster damage. Monster taking damage. Out. Taking oh. everybody out. <laughs> oh, no. It's disaster. And that's team the pop team off, Scuttle just completely aces them. Clean ace. That's huge. And now the double yeah. TP instantly onto the base while they take the Baron. Good communication. Uh, this could be this could be the end of the game right here, just straight up. Uh, yeah, getting the Baron. I think. I don't even think they need the Baron. They should. The, this York should have TP bot. Like the game could have been. Yeah, there he goes. He just walks onto the towers. This game could, is just over. Oh my. What a team! What fight. an ending! That was that yeah, was a crazy dude, ending. That came absolutely out of nowhere. They got uh, Tarek up, but I don't I don't think he can do too much about this. Yeah, the no, York will we'll just take yeah. it down. Wow! There you go. First win going over to Team Scuttlecrab. Yeah, that was that was a wild one. All right. Oh my gosh, that was nuts.
All right. Yeah. So I guess going into game two, what do you think we'll see? Um, I I'm ex- oh I don't know I. How do you adjust to that? I just I all I can say is that that trundle build was awful. That trundle build. Oh, <laughs> I'm so distressed. <laughs> oh man. It would have been a different game. It would, it would have been, been a whole game. different game, a whole different journey. I yeah. I I want to yeah. There are some other builds in this game that I question, but like that that would have changed the whole game if he had just built a Hydra first item. Mm-hmm. Um. So. And then the Swain, I guess, the next question mark is that's going to be allowed if that they felt that that was an issue. Yeah, I I think the Swain is warrant a ban. I'm not sure if they should change any of their bans. Uh, if they can get him to not first pick the Swain in the first round, you can ban in the second round. But I don't think that's going to happen. I expect to see a Swain uh, mm-hmm. again in the next game. Interesting. Do you think we'll see an Anivia ban just kind of pushing again? Uh, I it's interesting. Atrox on something a little safer, uh, a little less safe. Yeah, maybe. It's definitely possible. Yeah. But with that, do we send it over to break? Yeah, no. We'll send it over to the break, and uh, we'll be back. We'll be back with more. Yeah, we'll be back for uh, game two of Scuttle versus Mountain. Season opener.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game two of Mountain versus Skull Crab. Mountain versus Skull Crab. Crab. Look at that. Look at that crab. <laughs> Looking terrifying. Looking real terrifying after that game. Um, that ending was nuts. That was kind of, I mean, out of the blue. I mean, we kind of saw Skull Crab getting caught out a couple times, uh, throwing a bit of their lead and allowing Team Mountain Drake to get it back into it. But then just one quick team fight and just that just straight up ended the game. Yeah, one quick team fight was all it took. That was a very well played team fight too. It was well played and team the, fight. Uh, the instant double TP also was yep. very large. Was, that, that was that was some well played communication. Yeah, and communication is really big right now. I mean, especially with these teams being new to each other and it being week one, match one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, communication I think is going to make or break a lot of these uh, games that we see. So right now we are just waiting for our players to get into the lobby. lobby. And we should have that for you shortly. Yeah. But, um, so that trundle. Yeah, that trundle. We're probably not going to see that trundle. Again, I, it, I think we should see that trundle again. I just think he needs to build the right item. Like, yeah. I think he played it fucking wonderfully. He just didn't do the right things with what he had. Well, looking at the damage, if you look at the damage from last game, uh, I took a quick look. Yep. That York was a topping the damage charts, even out damaging Jinx by a good ten thousand. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of York. <laughs> it, damage. Was, it was a lot of York damage. Yeah, just absolutely slamming away on the, just like everyone. Yeah. Um, I mean, you saw at that last team fight when he came and flanked and just like absolutely obliterated. Yeah, uh, Sonic really. Game. That was some obliteration. The the Q for seven hundred and forty <laughs> or something. That was yeah. there's and the the Tarek not coming back to peel for the Trist was also very un not good. No, but I don't think we'll see the Yorick uh, allowed anymore. And I think this happened again last season. Um, yeah, he played Yorick in a game once. and then everyone was like, no more of that. Absolutely no. not. I think he was the second most banned champion last season. Um, first most banned champion was, uh, I want to say Orn. But yeah, second most was uh, Yorick. Yeah, I also think we need to see Floppy on a different character. Floppy Dingus. I think he played well. On the Tarek, but I think he's kind of their their playmaker, and I, I just think Tarek's more of like a. It's it's hard to say reactive, but see, I, I don't think uh, Tarek's really good, and he did make some really crucial catches and flashes mm -hmm. um, yep. onto the Nami, onto uh, I think Ziggy's even or Definitely. Even um, it just kind of gives him a lot of flexibility and utility. But yeah, I think you're right. Um, I, I I feel like his like for instance, what he showed us in the finals last season. 
was a lot higher caliber of play than what he showed on that Tarek. I'm not saying that might be totally character dependent. Maybe Morgana is just like his pop off character. Holy uh, shit. But man, that Morgana game was the some of the was sickest, not, sickest again. League of Legends I've seen in a very long time. That was incredible. The sickest and the thickest, not a floppy ding. It's just like, whew, firm, quite firm. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll see the Morgana come out. Um, it might be a little more situational than that. Um, in the mid lane, I don't know if we'll see the Swain again or if we'll see something that's a little bit safer coming out from... Or I guess maybe not safer, but something that's maybe... I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to see in the mid lane. Like, uh, I feel like the Swain was really good. I, I think the Swain is great. I think if they leave it open he'll pick it again i don't i don't think there's any issue there uh unless unless they leave open his corky or maybe malzahar if they leave open like a stronger carry champion maybe they go with it um, i mean was malzahar left up no they i'm pretty sure they they banned it i think their bands were garen malzahar and uh corky could mm -hmm. i could be mistaken but i think that was i think that's correct and do you think we're going to see, I guess, the same kind of priority? All right. Oh, are I, we... think, I think we're getting into champ select. All right, let's go. Hell yeah, game two. Yep. Uh, all right, here we are. Fan time. Corky. Uh, yep, corky take, taking out the team scuttle crap, taking out the Corky right off the bat. Man down. Man down. York coming out. York. The adjustment. Strong move. Yep. Maybe the tank uh, trundle will fare into a better matchup. Yes, of, uh, it's definitely yeah. possible. <laughs> definitely possible. I hope it doesn't Tom. have to. Yeah, no, Tom, when you're listening to this, we love you. I, sorry yeah. you don't get to play your Garen. <laughs> I'm so sorry you don't get to play your Garen. I... Yeah. We want to see it. The people want it. I just believe in Tom. I believe that he can be a lot better than a player than what he shows in the Rex League. And so I push him. I push him. <laughs> Get push. Uh, Vladimir, um, really just targeting Adolma. I guess they're saying that Adolma's the scariest the, person on yeah. the team. He's the threat, I suppose. Let's see what their last ban is. They uh, they banned Vayne last time. Jarvan, not... taking out the Jarvan. Yep, so Vayne is up. Uh, I don't know if that's a priority pick for Scuttlecraft. Um, yeah, Ziggy's definitely plays it. He's a, he's a good Vayne player, I would I would say. Um, I'm not sure if he's willing to pick that in this kind of environment. No, they just oh. want the Tristana right off the bat. That's a strong move. That character's right. ridiculous. Yep, picking away the And here the we go back to the Swain, as, as predicted. We're gonna have and? to see. I and the Zach is another good pickup. I think I think Taco performed well on that champion. I, yep, I think for his the, debut on jungle, he had some mistakes. Um, he had some kind of failed ganks, but when it counted, he made some moves. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Absolutely. <laughs> I think. I think. I he yeah. Made some of the moves, some of the time. I liked it. I think that that's a good champion for him. Ooh. Oh, oh baby, I heard. Oh. I was getting excited. I heard about the Ivern. I've heard oh. him play a ton of Ivern, and being re he's really excited about the champion. But I guess right. we're gonna see Warwick. I guess we'll see Warwick. That's fine. Warwick's a pretty uh. He's fine. He's, he's a fine. Ball of yeah, exactly. Anivia, Anivia, Swain again. So they want to go back to this matchup. I think that's reasonable. Uh, Anivia yeah. tends to fall behind farming wise in the early game. You noticed the Anivia was down almost thirty or forty farm pre six, and, and the second she hit six, she their their farm equalized pretty quickly. So. Uh, yep, I think that that's a really good uh, good champ for Aether Fox. Gives him yep. Ooh, just a Lulu. way too play. That oh. is a flex Lulu. That is a Lulu in the top lane if I've ever smelled it. One. It definitely <laughs> could be. I don't, I do not doubt it, but it could also <laughs> there they also could be uh, looking for a certain pick from Aduma to go in the top lane, mm. and so they want to pick the Lulu to flex it in the bot lane. Floppy played it twice, I think, last season. Okay. I think he put it in at least the first game. He definitely was on Lulu, but he might have been the first two games. I don't. I don't really recall. Uh, Alawi getting, 
taken right out Morgana. Yeah, they're they're not falling for the Lulu. They're 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 saying that's a top Lulu. We're banning the yep. supports. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, leave Tom alone. I mean, you took his Garen. You took the man's Garen. You took the man's Garen. And the Leona band. Okay. Yep. It's a strong band. That character is very strong. Tristana Leona in particular is like incredibly hard to play against. And the Tarek and, band. All just, right. just so taking out see... all the Dingus playmakers. Or maybe there's more. What else is it? Oh, I mean, there's, there's certainly more. I think he's a phenomenal player. I bet I bet they could uh, pick Zion Rakan right here and do phenomenally. Oh. And yeah. there's the Zaya. <laughs> Are they going to pick away the Rakan? I, yeah, I imagine they will. But the the issue is, if you're Rakan without Zaya, it feels it's, horrible. It's If awful. you're Zaya without Rakan, it feels no different. So <laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're Team uh, Scuttle here, and you're thinking about picking Rakan, you should just pick Alistar. It's the same champion, just better. I, I just don't... Oh, the Scion. The Scion top. Woo! Baby! <laughs> Pain train's coming into, into yeah, the so uh, so Let's the go. so Top is really strong. Right? Oh, and the Brom. Oh man, Brom would have been a really good pick for Bobby yeah. Dingus. That's a strong pick right now. The fact that that was still up is. Oof. Are we gonna see the Rakan? Is <sighs> they're kind of lacking in that frontline department. Yep. They have a lot they of engaged. Sure are. They have a lot of engage, but they don't really have a whole lot of, like, uh, peel. Yeah, the Lulu will be okay, depending on how he builds. If the Lulu... There might be a Lulu support still. It still could be. Yep. We could see a Trundle pick here. Or Zin... <gasps> yeah, it's a Lulu oh, support! Wow, they oh. fell for it. That was a very good move by uh, Team Scuttle. They're gonna pick Zin Zhao into this side and just say, we're gonna all in. Ooh. Or is it Zin Zhao middle? Is it a Zinzao middle? <laughs> is it a Zinzao middle? <laughs> I hope it's a Zinzao middle. It certainly should not be. <laughs> Zinzao does not fare well to Anivia. <laughs> if you could imagine such a thing. Yeah, it's the same zany to me. Um, yep, so right. Zintop. I, I think that's... I, I don't know too much about what Zintop does. I know Scion is prob probably the best top laner currently in the game. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that's a bold statement because he's never played in LCS or whatever. But this character is overtuned to the max right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pretty much do whatever and just win lane. Uh, but we'll see. the The all in of Zin Zhao might be enough to deter Zin's the Scion. Early so. Zin's early damage. His uh, what is it? Swift as a coursing river. His uh, electric slash, whatever it's called, something. Yeah. Something, something real crazy. Uh. That move has a lot of just like it's, straight up base it's damages. It's front loaded, yeah. It's very very strong. So we'll see if Maybe. we'll see if Adum. I don't think he's he's probably not super aware of the damage that this character can that the Zen can throw out. So he might get caught surprised. Catch him with his pants on the ground. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, let's uh, send it over to the player screens and take a look at some of these matchups. Hell yeah. So yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, it's yeah, clearly the same matchup as before. They're just on different opposite sides. <laughs> hey oh, uh, looking different ways. Yeah. Danny Taco looking away now. <laughs> turning, turning his back. Turning, on that. turning his back on the opponents. Adolma look at him straight in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I think I think overall I like the bait coming out from uh I Team Mountain. But the the, the I like the idea, but they're still lacking. The in... the issue that I'm struggling with is that Lulu and, and Zaya and Debram are both awful. Like that's gonna feel like such a bad matchup. Yeah. That and also I just don't see where their front line is. Like if team mount or of uh scuttle crab like gets ahead they're just gonna melt through these uh through team mountain yeah there's a lot of squish on sea mountain i i, I want to see i hope the zinzo goes straight damage i just i don't want yeah, to he's not gonna do anything if he's not straight damage right i want him to go straight damage and i want him to just go up against the scion forever and just sit in the sideline and and say face me you know mm-hmm 
I want I want to I want to see the split push getting tossed right back in their faces is what I'm saying. Do you think that the Xin Zhao can beat the Scion in that 1v1? Um I I think the damage from the Xin Zhao can surprise a top player who's never played against it. So yes. However, I think Azuma is a smart player, so no. <laughs> I I don't I want it to be true, but I don't think it will happen. All right. Why are you going to play Tom like that? I mean, it's it's the pick. It's not the player. I, I know. Um, but yeah, Warwick for Endo. Um, We've seen that before. Vi he's going to get, get, get in that Zach's face right yep. in the beginning. Right in the beginning. He's, he's going to go. The same thing, hopefully, hopefully go for those counter jungles. Yeah, we saw a couple in the beginning, or the one in the beginning. But after that, he kind of let the Zach be. Um, Zach kind of just fell behind on his own. Um, just kind of trying to gank rather than farm. Right. But I would like to see just more pressure applied by the Warwick in kind of just either fighting the Zack, uh, smelling him out, or kind of just counter jungling, taking yeah. away the resources. So we're loading into the game, so momentarily, and, and we'll take this moment to yet again shamelessly plug ourselves. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, as well as leave your follow. At the Rect League. At the Rect League, as well as leave your follow on the Twitch. We'd appreciate yeah. it. We get for you. Yeah, we're we're making it. We're making the league, and we we're hope you enjoy it. Yeah, it's fun for us. So, yeah, and it's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty. Sick. <laughs> it's so sick. We got that production quality. Dude, we got that production quality on lock. <laughs> <sighs> um, let's see. Anything crazy coming out here? So I'm looking at the loading screen right now, waiting for everyone lethal to load in. Temple, lethal tempo on the Warwick. Yeah. I, uh, yep. That's what I was going to mention. As well as press the attacks in. Yep. So, uh, they're going for the, they're going for the, the big plays. They're yeah. here to, they're here to play. They got big dicks. Yep. They're whipping them out. We're going to see which one's, uh, which one's longer, which one's thicker. <laughs> The lethal lethal tempo, press the attack, who knows? We're almost in game, guys. Sorry for the wait. Waiting for the spectator mode. And the teams are loaded in. We're on the rift, baby! Immediately we see pings coming out from uh, I believe it was Scuttle Crab going straight into the river, so they're looking to they're looking to mingle. Uh, Bromford almost forgot his chair. All <laughs> a little bit behind. He got it though, don't worry. <laughs> Both teams are gonna collapse right here. Oh man. Oh, he's in. The stun? Oh, going in. We're in the flash and heal. I think that's going to kill him. Yeah, it is. Yep. yep. First. Aggressive. First blood coming for the Tristano. That's a well played. Good good play for sure. They yeah. also they also got double, triple sums. Dingus flash too. And only used one summoner. Yep, just the flash. Wow, yeah. that's like a huge. Right off the bat, uh, Team Scuttle puts themselves in a hole with their... Uh, they're three man. They're three man to banana brush. Well, I believe it was the, the Zach on the other side here. It was sick. Uh, the Warwick puts uh, down his ward on the blue, so they got all the information about where the Zach is starting. The D blade start. Oh man, this Sinzo. He continues to impress. With the most okay. manly A dagger, manly builds. a Doran shield originally for the Tristana, but then going into the dagger. Yep. So mm. Tom Nom Nom dodging that E right there is gonna be the entire the entire thing of top lane here. Uh if he can continue to not get hit by these scion pokes, he'll do very well in this lane. But if he gets hit, he dodged that one again. Uh he'll be in some trouble. There we go. Dealing some damage. That's a good move. Getting the knock up. Getting the PTA off. And eating some damage on his way out. Yeah. Evening it out. 
And Swain kind of getting the push again on the Anivia. Um, to be expected. Trading, yep, trading back some damage. They're about pretty even. And oh. this bot lane. Oh, Ziggy's going in big on Floppy Dingus, just jumping on his face. Oh, saying, they don't appeal, but they don't appeal. Oh, but the you return. Oh. oh, man. That was a very well played exhaust wow. into a very good snare from Sonic MA. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And good getting for the reset on the W oh, to be able to go in oh, and out. Oh my goodness, that dodge. Wow. Oh, oh and no, oh. no, in the top lane. Dives him. Just straight dives him. That feels bad. That's yeah, that's gonna be really hard with Tom falling behind that early. Yeah. It's not the lane you want to fall behind in. But no, he's up not. CS. <laughs> he's up CS. <laughs> Uh, he should burn TP to get back to lane, or this... Oh, no, he should not. Never mind, he should just walk And in. this Warwick's probably going to go in and try and invade the Zac, and if he does, uh, he's going to be pretty happy. I think he's going to find a... Oh, he's smelling blood. He was just waiting for his W to come off cooldown, man. Uh, okay, well, he's going to be safe. Yeah. But they have vision of Zac, they know where he is, they pushed him off. Yep. Ooh, that was a very good route into the full combo. Ooh, but the Anivia answers with the insta stun, Ooh. And the, the Swain replies with the the longest uh, timed skill shot of all time. Mm -hmm. I believe it's three seconds before that goes... Two and a half seconds before it goes off. Really? Yeah. Wow. You literally have a decade to dodge it. It's, it's, it's one of those abilities where you kind of have to get hit by it on purpose. Oh, that's a pull. This should oh, be a kill. There we go. Yeah, that was Sonic. very, very well played from Sonic and very uh, disrespectful yep. from Itachi. Yeah. He had flash. I mean, he, he definitely could have lived there. Mm. Ooh. Got the Warwick running, running in the mid lane, but he, he was seen, spotted out. So the all things considered, the Zac is actually ahead in this jungle right I, now. I was about to say the exact same thing. Um, Endo hasn't really been applying any pressure in the jungle. Yeah, of... he he picked up the kill in the top lane kill, so he's got a lot, and uh, he's coming back middle right now. And mm. oh, oh, this but is, yeah. but Go he on. picks up the kill, and he should just flash out. Oh, but he missed oh, the flash. You oh, you hate to like see that. Me. He he, uh that was so well played from him. He he saw the whole play. He knew the jungler was coming. They had a ward in the uh, enemy uh, banana brush near Dragon. Um, he had this uh, this blue ward over there, or zombie ward more likely. So he definitely. Oh. Wow. Oh the, man. Wow, the double kill in the bot lane with one health. The one health double kill. Wow. That was now intense. Now we're pushing up. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna see some action in the jungle. Are we? Are we? They're playing footsies. Uh, how? And and all just with that kill on the swing, the uh, oh, the collapsing on Endo. Yeah, he should Endo get this. Should get this auto. Yep, getting the pull right oh. back in. Ooh. The the TPs here from Azuma. I don't think they win this. I don't. No. I think you want to run. Everyone's teleporting. Yeah, this is this is exactly. I think. Oh. Oh, the oh, the flash by floppy, uh, yeah floppy the, to Great extend flash. this play. See, they saw the oh, Zinzao. yeah Zinzo coming out of left field. They saw the uh, Anivia with with no egg and no ultimate, and knew they could instantly take that fight. Level five Anivia. Um, they got they used their TP on the Zin, and he's already behind in CS, so that's gonna be hard. But and a huge wave crashing into the top top tower. Yeah, yeah. But being a team player. He came in, got the kill. Gonna yeah, run he has, that's probably two and a half, maybe three there waves of CS that he's missing up there. That that hurts. He's going to not only fall down in CS, but he's going to lose all that to the... Actually, he's going to get there for a good chunk of it, but... Some of it, anyhow. One of the waves he'll have the experience for, which is good. And stole a little bit from when, uh, mid lane. When he TP'd down in that uh, team fight, he was level 4 and the Scion was 6, so... Yeah, he still fought level 5 and the Scion is 6. Yeah. So. But uh, on the on the other hand, 
This Trist is up farm, is up kills, is up gold. This Trist is just a big, big Trist and is level six. Yep, and you have to absolutely respect it. Yeah. Yeah, Zaya and... Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. This is oh. not good. Yeah, Trist is going to be going in right now. This is a kill. Getting that... Oh, He's going to have the ult, too. Yeah. He's absolutely destroying them. Another deep double kill for uh, this yeah. Tristan in the bot lane. Yeah, and I think that they really need to respect the and damage the that's coming out on the top chest, side so. of the map. They also get a kill onto the. So, <laughs> wow, ouch! So kind of... as as the scuttle crab mid laner based to spend the money he had, uh, the rest of the map got played, um, and the the scuttle crab jungler was nowhere to be found. Pardon me, I'm also eating dinner at the same time. Because I have a game after this. Yeah. But, um, yeah. That's, we, they're trying to make the moves. I mean, Swain's pulling ahead again. Um, he's getting up in farm, and he has the two kills. I mean, he's going to be strong, but I, I find it doubtful that he'll really Swain. be able to carry this game like last game i feel like against the jinx you have a lot more potential there's a lot it's like it's a lot easier you get, yeah you get more openings and also they're against a basically like a triple tank line yeah so if he's going to be making any pulls um it's going to be a lot harder it's probably going to be on one of the tanks so right it's going to be relying on oh the, the rest double of the, the double gate coming to bot the stun misses oh. from anivia but the um choo choo Oh, that's a very well played from Ghoul. Yep. Oh my goodness, the, the instant warlock nice. all cancel. Oh, this is a highlight reel montage oh, coming out for Team Scuttler. But he's going to die to the... the, the <laughs> As a Passive. Oof. Oof. That was close. Yep. If the if the Zac had his uh, E back up, he might have been able to um, get back in there and like prevent him from dying immediately after that stopwatch ended. But... Yep. Oh, sh Warwick uh, being engaged upon by the Zen Zhao. Oh, dealing the damage. Oh, Popping his ult. Is he going to win this? Oh, man. Oh, come. oh, that feels horrible. That just feels really bad. Yeah. He tried to make the play. He was really close. Um, and bot lane is just being pushed in really hard. Respecting uh, Ziggy's right now in that 5 0 Tristana. Yeah, and that's 3k gold lead coming out for uh, Team Scuttle Crab at 10 minutes, which is really sizable. I think that once Ziggy's gets his next back, uh, things are going to start really kind of getting out of control. Oh, yeah. we see a gang, com gang coming in top, top. lane. Is he going to be able to stand right. up? Oh, the ultimate isn't even up. There we go, actually. clapping him back. Do they have the damage? They got a lot of knockup. Where's the knockup from the Zen? I think they have this damage, yeah. Yeah. And so they no, no Scion Pain oh, Train. They're going to try to try to put it back on the There we Tonko, go. And then uh, Tonko needs should. to get out of there. Oh, a very good knockup from Zen to keep him alive. That was well played. Good job. And that's exactly what they need to do is help out Tom. Um, kind of get him a little bit more damage in that lane. Um, yeah. Give him some more gold. Yep. Uh, but meanwhile, bot lane... There's a lot of, there's some respect going on. Yep. They're kind of having to give up some of the visions, some of the uh, objectives around there. But in order to get back into it, they kind of have to do that and let that happen. Just, yeah. Yeah. Smelling out that uh, Ghoulin was oh, down here. Oh, no. Oh, the heal from Sonic m and Keeping him alive. Making him live. Being a live lord. But the uh, mid lane tower is going to get punished for it. Good dodge on the uh, Anivia stun. Mm, the Trista is just going to go in here, yeah. It's a good dodge. Yep. Alright, Lulu's speedy. Just going to walk away. Yep. Alright, so they're losing a the tower. Kind of adding to that gold lead, but. Um... I think. I think this top one tower is dead. I don't. 
Oh, oh, oh man, the tower's on him and he hasn't gotten it down yet. This could be a, yeah, this is another kill yeah. for Tom Nom Noms for sure. But, uh, yeah. lost the tower, but, you know, it could have been worse. Hey. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Nice little juke. Jukes juke. out the, uh, slow. sign passive. I don't think the, the sign passive would have been able to keep up with him. Uh, when you, when you, when you spawn as the side passive, you need to refrain from immediately using your speed up. You want to get as many autos as you can before you use that, and he used it right off the bat there, so. Oh, nice flash coming from yeah. Jack. Bring oh, and he, Oh, yeah. landing the cube, clapping together the Tristana and, uh, Brom. Oh, no, but the Zaya? This, this oh, Zig is, this, uh, right. Tristana is just doing like, so much damage. Oh, and, oh no. Oh, coming the, on the flank, annihilating. Yeah, the Scion, the Scion CP is, is huge here. But the Zim Zao's here now, they could... Zim Zao's trying to make plays... Oh, nice flash from gets Tom. The, gets the... Oh, man. He's Waiting not... for his cooldown. He wants it. Did he get it? He Did saw get it? the... Oh! 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 He saw the highlight play. He saw he the highlight reel. He wanted to be like Mike. He wanted to be him. Mm. Just wanted to touch the rim. Wanted to be that guy. Ooh, oh, 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 no, the snare misses. That was oh, okay. that was a kill. Oof. Uh, Scion might be backing up for an. Oh, never mind. His ult is down. Yeah. This is a five one and two Warwick. That guy. <laughs> five zero oh, and three Tristano isn't enough. Five two and five one and two Warwick is quite a lot. Sonic, yep, just getting the solo kill on the Zaya. Yep, not respecting the fact that the Ziggies can kind of just, I don't know, blow up anyone at any time uh, if they're left alone. Oh, the 6 0 and 3 Tristan. Yeah, can't, can't go near that guy. No. Nope, if they want to stay in this, they kind of have to. Play it safe. They're gonna have to give up some objectives, uh, and just hope that uh, Scuttle Crab kind of gives them an entrance to get back into this game. Because right now, if they just play around Ziggy's, uh, they can close out this game. Maybe. Yeah, this game should be should be twenty minute, maybe twenty five or so win. But we'll see. We'll see how they. Uh, uh, I mean, oh, I wouldn't ooh, say that. Yeah. Ooh, nice good, little juke. Yeah, nice little juke. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, a very in. sick Huge combo. Tackle. Oh my goodness. Bang three of them in there. Comboing into the... Oh man, and somehow it just wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. That was best case scenario. Oh, okay. They there we up. go. There we go. Floppy dingus. Oh wait. Yeah. Flash hand. There we go. Yep. Nice. Not the team comes Good in. Good. There we go. Good See plays. That? Yeah, they that need that. Huge tackle. That was huge. Hopefully they can, hopefully they can pick up tower. this mid lane tower. But yeah, I mean, it just says how far ahead they are. That even when you bring three of them under tower with Zach, up oh, into Swainall. into a level two Swainall, like I, they still can walk away. Yeah, they still can just walk away. They're going to op oh. this fight. I don't. Nice I don't clap know if by this Zach. I think. But I guess they get out. They get okay. one and they get out. So it works. Yep, get a summoner, oh, okay. uh, flash from Zion. It was it was a level one Swainall. It was not a level two Swainall. Okay. That was a very nice combo from Team Scuttle, from Team Mountain, sorry, excuse me. No, yeah, that's exactly what they need to do. In order to get back into this game, they need to make plays just like that. And I think Zach is a good champion to be able to do that. It yep. just allows you to engage from so far away and catch you with your pants down. Yeah, Taco's having a really good, another really pretty solid game here. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. I Floppy think Dingus. Might have been a DC, but that yeah. was, whatever that was, was weird. That was um, no good. Yikes. No good, but yeah, this tower is going to go down. Uh, if that was... Still a... I... Ooh, that feels bad. Yeah, I... Hmm. They're going to lose the tower here to the Rift Herald. Top lane. 
I don't I don't think this uh Swain is Swain. gonna end up doing anything up here, but maybe he can no. get a tower for his team or something. Aetherfox still has teleport, keep in mind. He can just go back up and clear that wave if need be. Uh a fight in the base, yeah, Ooh. I think he's just flexing. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god, cleaning up. Wow. Off. Two item two item Tristana at seventeen. That's uh pretty pretty painful. Ooh. Trying to stop the right. back, but yeah. I'm not gonna get it off. I don't cool. He has no souls. The Swain has no souls, so even if he ults here, he won't it's do not a gonna lot. do that much. No. Yeah. Oh. Gotta respect that, uh, Tristana. Yeah. Let that Tristana back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let her let her be. I mean I think that Yeah, two hundred gold and that's a that's a three item Tristana with a rapid fire. That is That is probably That is not good. I'm no. gonna leave it at that. That's the statement I'm gonna say. That is bad for uh Team Mountain here. It is a tough position. Freaking freaking awesome for Team Scuttler though. Like Team yeah. <laughs> Team Scuttler fans should be hyped. But Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, they're coming up big. Aether Fox fans. Team Mountain. Uh. Yeah, so right now, I mean, there's not much that Team Mountain can do aside from... Uh, I don't know, hope that they make a good catch. Yeah, they gotta get a, they gotta get the best of both worlds, or they, the... Best cat, well, like basically what happened on they that last the turret. They need that best case scenario where they got the uh, Swain snare into the Zaki into the Zakar. They need that, but with five members there, and yep. then, and then they'll the, be okay. On to Tristana. They, yeah. they need to take out the Tristana. Yeah. And even that, the rest of the team's getting pretty big off of it, yep. too. Yeah, okay. All right. So Baron's coming up in 15 seconds. Um, that's probably going to be the focus. Um, I think that the game's going to be decided right there. Scuttlecrab should be doing everything in their power right now to just be making sure get that, good, they, that they execute that well. They get the good vision. Yep. That they just don't give uh, I mean, Mountain any honestly, chance for them. Yeah. Honestly, if I were them, I wouldn't even go over there. I would I would just sit, do exactly what they're doing right now. Land the Navy walls, the suns, the stuns, zone control. Team train. Yep. Zoning them oh, out. Catch wow. him. Deleting the... Yeah, deleting oh, the loop. man. Swain flashing oh. away. That is aggressive, but it's a really fed Tristana, so it just doesn't, just doesn't even... Does not even close to matter. Nice. And that's yep. uh, cleaning. That's, yep, that's going to be the game. Minions and base. Yep. And they should yep, just, just, that, just, on us, just going for it. Yep. Yep. Teleport coming down. Uh, and that's going to be a 2 0 coming out for uh, Skullcrab. I think they finish. Yeah, if they finish, they'll get the clean 2 0. Uh, wow. Well. It's yeah, clean 2-0 coming out for Team Skullgrab in uh, the season opener. Yep. Hell so, yeah. So starting off strong. And I, I gotta say, I think I saw a lot of really good things from Team Mountain. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I, they've lost, but but I think there were a lot of uh, good things shown here. I don't think no, there were... Team, Team Mountain almost had the first game. Game yeah. 1 was almost won the first game. And I think that there are uh, definitely, yeah. Points there, where they did really well. Even even though they work. lost the second game, there were at least two highlight clips that uh, were pretty good. So yeah, I mean yeah, as long as you have highlight clips, that's really what matters. <laughs> clip clip those out, put those on the Facebook page, share them on Facebook or uh, at us on Instagram or Twitter. Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless <laughs> plug. Oh man. But yeah, yeah. so uh, do we want to do some interviews? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think we're gonna be. Uh, let me let me talk to some people. We'll see if we can pull them in. Okay. Yeah. And uh, two oh hell yeah. The 
that now we can start getting excited about Team Ocean Drake versus Team Red Brambleback. <laughs> So uh, we're going to pull in two members, I believe, from uh, Team Scuttler. Okay. Uh, and let me see. All right, yeah, I guess I guess we're just ready to pull that in pretty much now. Cool. Let's, uh, Hell yeah. Let's fade and, fade and pull. Yep. You got to find them. Switch them. Where are they? Oh, wait, they are not in their team? Am I crazy? Oh, and those. What's up? How you doing, Endo? How's Endo! It what is up, boys? Lovely two, play out there. It off. Hell yeah! yeah. Well, you pretty hype on that 2 -0? I'm feeling pretty good, not gonna lie. Good. Glad to hear that. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, walk us through some of, uh, I guess, what your game plan was going in, and yeah, we'll take it from there. Yeah, so we were in a unique situation because I was actually on Team Mountain last season. So uh, I, <laughs> they know me, I know them. Um, but yeah, it was it was nice. Our our team gels really really well because we have pretty much every lane. When they have excess gold, they know what to do with it, which is the best thing you want to hear on the jungle Sweet. side of things. Yeah, for sure. We also uh, have Ziggies in here. Hello. Ziggy, you there? Hey, Ziggy. <laughs> yep. Hey, what's up, guys? Congratulations hey. on the win. Hey, thank oh, yeah. you, thank you, thank you. It was uh, some impressive ADC play, I gotta say. Uh, some some strong moves and uh, good aggression, so paid off. Uh, so yeah, I I guess I guess I just want to specifically Ziggy's my question in the first game is like how did how did that like I so I know you you know you played on stream so. Uh, not our stream, but like your own stream. So maybe your nerves are less, but like, I know for a lot of people in the league, uh, the first game nerves are like a pretty real thing. So did that like affect you at all in this or, or uh, was it just like total chill? Yeah. Well, I mean, as soon as we came out of champs, like, like I was like, okay, I'm just going to miss every fucking season. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, like it was, it was kind it was kind of shaky a little bit cause you know, it is a different environment. So, yeah, for um, sure. I, I didn't know how I was going to do, and uh, once about halfway through the game, I, I felt pretty good. So Yeah, for sure. Getting getting fed can uh, definitely help that feeling. <laughs> feel, like you're, feel like you're on a mountaintop. Yep. Truly on top of a mountain. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. That's dope. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the league. Uh, Endo, I got my question for you, I guess, is like, in the second game, uh, you didn't even need to help bot lane. They just did it all on their own. Good job, Ziggies. Uh, but you you also managed to like affect the rest of the map like ridiculously. I think you were like five zero and two at some point, point. Uh, and it just felt like for, from a viewing perspective, the whole map just looked wide open. Uh, yeah. How do you how do you get there? I guess like what was what was the game plan going into that game? Yeah. So we um, first off, credit to the the other jungler because I know he normally doesn't jungle and mm -hmm. it's. It's the mechanically easiest game, but game knowledge can be one of the hardest roles in the game. Yep. Um, so he picks he picked Zach, and that's why we went with uh, Warwick because Warwick's a great bully jungler. Zach doesn't have a healthy clear, so as long as I keep invading and threatening him, he's too scared to actually affect the map. Yep. He just doesn't have HP. So right. using that knowledge, I know as Warwick, you know, and he's got that blood set, I can get to the lanes I see opportunities in, which is amazing. Yeah. That's uh, well, well put, well said. <laughs> Very articulate, gentlemen. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you got any uh, questions there, uh, Brian? Um, I mean, I guess what were comms like, kind of in that first game? I mean, that second game was pretty decisive. Um, there's not much uh, really to be said with that win, but I mean, like, I mean, there's a lot to be said. But that first game. What went on with that last team fight, and I guess that mm -hmm. last catch, and then the two the double teleport call, and kind of closing that game out? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'll start. So, from my perspective, at least, it was, you know, we were scared that our support was going to get caught warding because we were pretty sure that they were going to try to attempt to do the Baron. Um, so, we we focused a lot that team fight even though we went into it kind of like a 4v5. Um, like, I laid my traps out as soon as I saw the TP coming in. And my goal was to 
make sure that we just killed everybody. Because, like, usually I'll call our targets for our team. So I call uh, what target I'm on and wh who we need to kill the fastest so I can just get the reset. And uh, I didn't actually think that Adoma was going to kill Tristana, right? Like, <laughs> that I had, no, huge. He came I had out no idea. <laughs> so that just, like, completely turned the fight because I, after, you know, seeing, like, okay, well, he killed Tristana, um, we can clean this up. And that's pretty much what happened. I think Swain just kind of got in a bad position. How yeah. did you feel about the Swain pick? Uh, I guess since he's kind of new to the rift. Uh, terrified. <laughs> uh, I think I think like Swain is like super strong. Uh, I got caught a lot that game because there was I don't know the range on Swain's route, so mm -hmm. I was just getting grabbed like a couple times. Like I know I died like twice mid uh, after I was like three and zero or something like that by the same thing, and it was kind of like pretty. It was a tilter. Like, <laughs> <it was pretty laughs> the the Tristan in the second game probably helped with that because the much safer yeah, yeah. on that character. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right, awesome, sweet. You guys, you guys got anything else? Yeah, you want to add? Or, uh, shout outs. Shout outs. <laughs> yeah, man. Scuttle crabs control the river. Don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> well said. All right, but guys. Shout out to Mountain. Great game. <laughs> We're going to. Yeah, shout uh, out to Mountain. That was a good game. Cool. Oh, yeah. Sportsmanship. Sweet. Love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to uh, send it into the next game uh get ready for team ocean versus team bramblebacks we'll be back probably like 15 minutes i want to say yeah yeah something like that cool all, all right. right see ya thanks guys